Lesbians are not all feminists. Hey, it's Prince of Queens, and in spite of the fact that I don't know any lesbians on YouTube that aren't feminists that I actually feel an urge to shout out at the moment, this is not to say that they don't exist on YouTube, and that some of them might even be fairly cool. I just don't know of any. Hopefully, I'm not forgetting about anybody. Regardless, I feel a need to clarify to the audience in crystal clear detail that not all lesbians are feminists, nor are all feminists lesbians. In fact, the vast majority of feminists are almost certainly biologically female white women who enjoy the D, but probably claim to be non-binary and pansexual these days. Many of these women also claim to be lesbians, at least at various moments in their lives, but a huge percentage of them are actually lying when they say such things, will never have any sort of serious lesbian sex or actually date a woman, and are generally only saying that they are lesbians because they hate men or have been conditioned to momentarily believe that they hate men by feminist programming. At any rate, while it's actually a fairly small population of people that seek to have exclusively female-on-female -female relationships, and seemingly the population has always been small outside of Portland, Oregon, people should be reminded that within this community of people, there legitimately is some diversity of thought even though most of us are unaware of it due to our interactions with lesbians. You see, here's the thing. When most people think of lesbian, they think of one of two types of people. They think of angry, militant lesbians who are generally conventionally unattractive and look rather masculine, but simultaneously really hate men a whole bunch, or they think of the humorless feminist lesbians that act like their entire world is a feminist library of sorts, and they are the librarian. Personally, if I had to choose between being around one of these aforementioned types or the other, I'd prefer to be around the angry man-hating lesbian, because at least with her, you can team up with her anger if you are in the mood to complain about men a bit, and she might end up deciding that she likes you and thinking that you're one of the good men. However, with the humorless feminist librarian lesbians, you just can't win. And believe you me, they hate men as much, if not more, than the angry, man-hating butch lesbians. So much so that they are generally terrified to even interact with men in any way, shape, or form, which is why they only exist in environments where they know that the environment is controlled under the law of the feminist safe space. Seriously, I don't know how they even go to the grocery store. Regardless, here's the thing I think a lot of people don't realize. When you get to know enough lesbians, and I generally mean more than 20 or 30 and more into the realm of knowing well over 50, you start to realize that there are legitimately various different kinds of real lesbians out there. You see, men generally only ever encounter the butch, loud, and angry man-hating lesbians as a result of the fact that they are obsessed with becoming the leaders of every far-leftist activist organization that they can get anywhere near. So if you want to do some sort of environmental activist, expect to be around a few loud, angry, man-hating butch lesbians. It's just how things go. Then, of course, everybody who attends universities comes across the humorless librarian lesbians because they have infested university campuses. Still, there are numerous other kinds of lesbians out there. Commonly, you can find lesbians who are really into sports, and believe it or not, they aren't necessarily super butch. A lot of them put their hair back in ponytails and get ready for some field hockey or soccer, blending right in with the other girls. 
More so, there's actually a sizable population of fairly high-powered, career-focused lesbians who may or may not consider themselves feminists, but care a lot more about actually doing things than they do about whining about how hard it is to do things while being female. There's also plenty of lesbian artists, theater makers, and musicians of several varieties that don't have these horrible attitudes of the feminists that I described. I actually have a lesbian friend that I hung out with a few nights ago, so people should not be under the mistaken impression that they should use the term lesbian and feminist interchangeably. Though, granted, I understand why people use lesbian and feminist as if they are synonyms. I completely understand why my friends say, Don't worry, I don't hang out with lesbians when I say that I have grown increasingly socially incompatible with anybody that actively holds smash the patriarchy style feminist beliefs. However, there's lesbians who aren't feminists, and we should at least give lesbians the benefit of the doubt and encourage them not to be feminists by presuming that maybe they aren't feminists instead of dooming them to this fate without actually meeting them, right? Sure, maybe gay guys especially aren't going to meet non-feminist lesbians super often because they tend to veer towards exclusively girl-for-girl parties that males tend not to even hear about, and there are very strict no-males policies at the door because if there isn't a strict no-male policy, straight guys will come and try to invade. It happens. But that's fine. We don't have to hang out with lesbians all the time, the same way that we don't have to allow women into gay male spaces. However, on the off chance that we do feel like going to a mixed bar that happens to be gay, we should more than be aware that not every woman there is necessarily going to try to assimilate us into the intersectional Borg or demand control over the space if they can get it. Sometimes, some of the lesbians legitimately just want to go out clubbing and dancing to Rihanna with a bunch of mostly gay guys, hoping that they'll maybe come across a nice girl to sleep with, but not necessarily as the entire motive for entering into the space. Sometimes, they just hate the lesbian bar, if there is one, or they don't want to run into that one ex at the lesbian bar who lies about them a bunch. You see, here's the thing, gay guys, which I'll leave you with. Due to the fact that fourth wave feminism was such a gigantic thing over the past six years, there have been countless wacky feminists mixing in lesbian spaces. And if you think they've screwed gay men over, you can only imagine the chaos they've inflicted upon other lesbians. Starving piranha syndrome is very real, so yes, of course the bad-acting, man-hating lesbians will always find new targets to attack even if there aren't actually any men around in the first place. And if there isn't actually a girl that is beating up her girlfriend, some wacky feminist or another will convince some girl of some crazy crap or another, and restraining orders are quite common in the lesbian scene. Many lesbians have them after some crazy girl made up some lies about her. That all said, the last thing we, as gay men, should be doing is judging these people as part of the problem, when in fact, a lot of them might actually be totally nice and also victims of the exact same problem we are dealing with. I hate using the term ally, but I feel like we might find a few allies in this struggle within the lesbian community if we play our cards right. Thanks.